Hey folks, Fernando doing a quick video here for Tomorrow Survivalist. In regards to the potential problems with, with electricity, with power, blackouts, one of the questions I get asked the most is, okay, man, how do I go about cooking, boiling water, preparing food if there's no power, no electricity, no natural gas? Fair question, absolutely. And the solution is really just knowledge. If you have the knowledge, you have more tools as to find solutions to the problems you have. This is something that I explained in Street Survival Skills, how to do a very easy, very simple uh, stove using just a, a, a can, a tin for tuna or I think cat food as well. I don't have any cats myself, but I believe that a, a, a cat food tin would work as well. Tuna, I guess you should have enough of it in, in storage and in your stockpiles of food. So you probably have one of these and most likely you have one of these. So if you have these two, you can make one of the best, most efficient, most simple stoves you can have. I experimented with different amount of, of, uh, of rows and holes, see which one works best. You know, this one is pretty fast, three rows. The one that worked best for me is this one. Um, if you look online, you'll find some that are have like nice cut holes. That's nice. But this one I found to be more effective. And I'm assuming that's because of this these jacks ends that's going to be making the, the tin heat faster. You need heat so as to have this work properly. You'll see it just in a minute. But this is, in my experience, the model that works best. Two rows, a little bit of space in between, and two rows like so. The way you do this, I mean, again, couldn't be any easier. You have your tin, you just have your, your punch, and you just, you know, it's, it's kind of soft material. You just make a series of holes. Let's see how this ends up working when we put a little bit of alcohol in it. So we have this all already running. It just takes a, a few seconds after you fill it up with, with alcohol, keep it away from the flame. It just takes a few seconds until it's already hot enough so as to jet on the sides. I have my cup of water and once you have this hot enough, once you put this on top, the flames are going to be coming out on the side. I don't know if you see that because of the sun, but you see that those blue flames, that means this thing is working as it should. So this has been going on for to almost three minutes. I have an improvised uh, lid with some tin, uh, some uh, aluminum foil. And I'll let you know guys when this is already uh, properly boiling. So I to prepare a soup or you know some tea or coffee. So almost uh, six minutes later, we are hearing already that this seems to be doing nicely. Let's go check it out. Carefully remove the lid. Keep in mind this is very hot, so use gloves. And there you see, you know, it's, it's boiling, you know, nicely. It's a nice rolling boil that you have going on there. The lid helps quite a bit, but yeah, that's basically my experience been in the past. Same thing, about five, six minutes, you get a nice boiling uh, cup of, uh, of water. You know, tap water, uh, room temperature, and kind, kind of cold already, so this, this works very well. This works very efficiently. Uh, my advice though would be if you are um, doing this sort of thing, measure the, the amount of alcohol you need so as to do this and not waste a whole lot. For example, I still have a lot of uh, alcohol there so I could keep on, on cooking nicely uh, with this for a few more minutes. No, no problem there. But as you see, this is, this is plenty enough. And man, it couldn't be any easier. It's just a, a, a tin of, of tuna, a few holes that you punch in it and the actual fuel sets to get it working that's it just be careful it's fire always a danger with that but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this little video take care see you on the next video have an awesome day